Hey guys, what is going on? Thanks for stopping by my channel. Uh, I'm going to start doing a, a few videos. I've had a lot of requests on some uh, tutorials on uh, making simple designs to a little more complex designs. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do videos whenever I have some spare time and uh, show you what I'm using uh, for designing these uh, the shirts that I'm putting up on Merch by Amazon and other platforms and uh, some of the thought process that I use, some of the places I go to get um, vectors or royalty-free material, material or graphics to use in these shirts, and uh, basically the rundown on how I design some of, some of these shirts. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail with niche. They're going to be very generic, but um, hopefully the stuff that I'm showing you will provide some uh, good brain food for your, your thought process and your creative process on when you're using these. Um, all these videos are going to be done on uh, the Adobe Illustrator. Uh, I use Creative Cloud and um, if you haven't used it yet, when you first sign up there's a 14 day free trial so I, I have a link down in the description below. Head on over and check it out. It's definitely worth um, at least giving Adobe Illustrator a try. Um, you know, use that free trial up if you like it, keep going. Uh, I, I think it's, I think it's worth it. Um, and, and you'll see in these videos, I, I used to use GIMP, which was free. And when I switched over to this, everything got a lot quicker and, um, the interface is just much easier. I, I just like it much better. So maybe it's a personal preference, but, uh, you'll see as I'm doing some of this stuff, it's really nice to have the artboards and have everything in one place and, uh, be able to ungroup and, yeah, so we'll get right into this. So today I'm going to show you how to take, um, basically, uh, on the internet you can get, uh, there's different sites you can go and get creative, and maybe I'll, I'll share this with you. Um, they'll, they'll give you royalty stuff for free, like here, and then they'll say, hey, if you want the rest of these, you can do this, you know, purchase the full version here, and you can have the full graphic pack or whatever but they'll give you you know this much for free basically um so pretty cool um now what these are these so i'm not going to use these as these are like example logos so if you were to do a logo for someone but you can actually go in here and what we're going to do um sometimes these are grouped it doesn't look like they're right now you can take these and hit Control c and copy it and uh bring it over to the other board and um you end up with you know, an exact copy right there. So we're going to make this black and make this bigger. So basically what I did is I just dragged the element over and my main thing was like, I have this graphic now. Okay. Now there's things you can do. You could keep the, if you really like the font layout and you wanted to use that, you could, but I never do that. I, I always try to take a design element like this um, for example, and then use it in your own way. So you can have the inspiration, stuff like that. So we'll try to use up a lot of space here. And then let's see, I'm getting messages. Sorry about that guys. All right. So, and then what the cool thing is, is you can just grab this and if you, you can move it slowly like this, if you do left or right, um, on the directional pad, but if you hit shift, um, which you couldn't do in some of the other programs that lets you move this design element around very easily and center it up. And, uh, I mean, this is my personal preference. I just do it with the keys cause it's quick. And then I got this here. So, um, what happens is this design element is grouped up. So you're able to right click on here and hit ungroup. And then when you select this now, every single one of these options is different. So you can see, this one is done on a, a curve here. So if we were to keep, if we were to, oh boy, don't update. If we were to keep typing on this, sorry about that guys. If we were to keep typing on this path here, um, for whatever reason, there we go. Um, it would follow the path, see? Um, but in this example, we're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna take this path and delete it. And um, we'll just keep these two font boxes here. They don't even look centered, actually. Look at this. To me, that doesn't look centered right now. Okay, so anyway, I had to redo that. But uh, getting here, we have this. We, 
it's all centered up and then um, you're able to get in here oh I don't have my font shown either sorry guys this is the first time let me extend this all right so uh, this will get better as we go I promise <laughs> Now you can go up in here into your fonts. You can add new fonts as you go. We'll pick something uh, like this. Uh, all right, so it's really easy. Compared to some of the other things you can do, there's all this like customization that you're able to do. And it, it, if you're watching like how easy it is up here, it's really easy just to change the fonts, the size, to something that fits your needs quickly. Um, basically, the main reason I love it, it's really easy to move elements around. Uh, let's see. And then we'll take this, and then let's say Pong King. Selling you... Junk that you want. Uh, get, I don't know, <laughs> we'll do that. So really, you know, it's really quick for me to get a design done in here. Usually I have a, an idea. This was just me totally freelancing. So I'm just putting something together quickly. Um, One of the main things that I've noticed is putting the design elements together that, that work good. Let's take the period out of there. That doesn't look good there. But, you know, there's so many options with this. It's really easy to go through and see what you want. Get that junk. You're able to recolor these elements here. If you go over to colors, swatches. See, we do like a golden. something like that I don't know can we get a better color everything is really customizable but you know this is how easy it is in my opinion to uh, get something going really quickly let's try that one oh, it looks like puke we'll just keep it back so this is on the merch uh, layout size right here that I'm using um, 4500 by 5400 and then once you get it in, all you have to do is go up here, export, export as, and then we're going to take it to, I don't know, where can we go here? We'll take it to the documents and Pawn King, we'll do Pawn King as a file name. Use artboard, you only want to use the artboard you're on. Export and then once you're here, it's going to show you a quick little example. You can put it on white, you can put it on black. So, if you were sending these to someone as an example, um, you could do all those. It's going to be right here at 300 ppi, optimized, boom, export, done, and you're ready for upload. Um, so, that's how simple it is to really get a design going in Illustrator and using different elements in here to make something really work I don't know so I just wanted to show you basic using those and like being able to pull over all these pre-made stuff this is like very like a very simple way to get something going um, that has been useful for me getting started out so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to try to do more videos like this in the future. I'm still kind of learning um, how what would be the best format for showing these. But leave some comments below on stuff you'd like to see in the future. And I'll keep making some videos. But uh, until next time, guys, uh, happy hunting.